in this lecture we will look at continuity of composite function okay continuity of composite functions so this is quite interesting so first let's see what is composite function okay then only we can go into continuity of those functions so composite function is written as something f of g so which means or f of g of x which means what if we take one example so let's see the example so like f of x is sin x okay g of x is x square okay then if i say f of g which is f of g of x so what you have to do is that in function f of x you replace x by g of x okay so it now becomes so fx is sin x now you replace x by g of x which is x square so it becomes sin of x square so this is called composite composite function okay and in composite function so now we have to look at continuity so is the function f of g of x continuous but before looking at continuity we will look at a few more things and what comes before continuity of course limit then domain of function okay so first is of course domain is before limit also so g of x domain and range range so we will have to look at these two so one thing so f of x now the numbers this x is being provided by g of x okay so g of x the range of g of x is now input to f of x okay so whatever is the output of gx so that goes as input to fx hence so the range range of g of x should be subset of f of x okay so because whatever values come out from g should belong to the domain of f of x then only f of g of x will be defined okay so that is very important point so next we have to look is that at a point c okay so at a given point c is the function f of g of x continuous so first of all g of x should be continuous at c okay and then g of c will be the value so if what happens let's see in a separate page so f of g of x to be continuous at point c what are the things that are needed so first is that g of c should b so what should be g of c should be continuous means g should be continuous at c okay that is one thing so of course gx should be continuous at c 
then g of c so f of x should be continuous at g of c because this is the input x to f of g of x gc so f should be continuous at gc and if these two are satisfied then f of g is continuous at c okay so what are the things f and g are real valued function so for f of g to be defined what should happen if g is should be continuous at c isn't it gc should be continuous so g should be continuous at c so what should happen limit g of x x tends to c should be equal to g of c so limit should also exist at c for g x then what other thing is there so the value that goes as input to f of x is gc so f of x should be diff continuous at point g of c okay then it means f of g will be continuous at point c okay so and other things of course you have to look at the domain of course gc should be in domain of f of x okay then only it will be defined okay so these are the points that needs to be remembered so based on this we will try to look at some problem okay so we will look at so main thing is we will look at some problems here so what is the problem one problem that we will look at is show that the function f of x is equal to cos of x square is continuous so you have to prove that fx is continuous so again you can follow the direct method also that prove but we can see here so by we can see that okay we can directly also try to prove that cos x square is continuous but one thing we can see is we can take h of x is equal to cos of x and g of x is equal to x square then what is h of g of x so h of g of x so replace x in hx by g of x which is x square so cos of x square so we see h of g of x is equal to f of x so now this function to be continuous fx should will be continuous so what should be the thing so first let's see so we should look at the range of g of x so g of x the range is what so g of x is x square and the graph is something like this so it is 0 to plus infinity this is the range of g of x okay and if you feed this input to cos x so the domain of now what is the domain of cos x so the domain is minus infinity to infinity okay hence it is fine so the range the range of g of x is subset of domain of h of x so this is fine so we fulfill this criteria 
then what should be there now g of x is continuous at all points isn't it gx is continuous at all points and cos of x square hence and cos x is also continuous isn't it so cos x is continuous now now last time we studied that okay what did we see that f of g of x is continuous if what happens so cos of x so x square is continuous in whole of its domain and whatever is the range so in all of them h of x which is so cos of x square is continuous everywhere so f of g of x so at every point g c is continuous for all c in r okay so for all points g c is g of x is continuous and at every point f of g of c f of g of c is also continuous hence so in fact h of g of c is continuous hence this function is continuous similarly we will look at one other function fx is equal to mod of cos x so what happens so h of x is equal to cos of x and g of x if we select as mod of x then what can we write fx as in terms of hg so g of h of x can we write so hx is cos x and gx is mod x so g of h of x so whatever was x here will be replaced by h of x so this is equal to mod of cos of x okay so now let's see first the range of h of x so h of x is cos of x and range is minus 1 to 1 isn't it this is the range of this function and for all these so the range is this and what is g of x is this mod x so it is equal like this so g of x so it is from 1 to minus 1 it is defined isn't it so for any range range of this so it belongs to the domain of g of x okay because it is defined in whole of real number now we have to see that okay this function to be continuous so what should happen so mod of cos x so what will happen so because h of x which is cos x is continuous at all points c and g of x so g of h of x so it is also continuous at all points because g of c gx is continuous at c okay gx is continuous at c then g its value will be gc and we see that for all gc so h so so what happens let's see again okay so h of 
C so for all points it is continuous okay because cos x is continuous at all points now g of h of x is mod cos of x so we also know that mod x is continuous at all points and cos x is also the range is minus 1 to 1 we know that in minus 1 to 1 mod of x is continuous hence mod of cos x is which is g of h of x is continuous everywhere okay so the domain of this function is what minus 1 to 1 okay and it is continuous in those points so now I hope you understand what is continuity for composite function.